What are you doing? I bought this um, <laughs> universal instant grip mount from the service station because I've got these sticky things for the GoPro and I want to stick it on here so we're going to see if it works. Where should we put it? In the middle? Yeah, there. So if I stick that there, and then this, like that, yeah, and then we have GoPro to stick on there. Surely that'll work. <gasps> Ready? Oh, sick. That's quite a cool idea. Obviously this is not GoPro, but <laughs> use, your AA. use your imagination and pick up something that you think it would work. And you need to turn it on first, don't you? Look at that! That's so cool. Is That's it recording? Sick, isn't it? Not yet. All right, let's switch to GoPro. All right. Woo! We're on the motorway. That GoPro looks sick. I wonder if it's shaking because it looks like it's shaking so much. Fill up and then on the road again. What are you buying? We don't need more food. Uh, I got Galaxy. You're so fat. Galaxy's always a good snack for a road trip. How'd you get out? Come on then, boss, what are you doing? We've got 82 miles to the destination. It is estimated time 12.59, so let's say 1pm. It is currently half 11 and we're going to the Brecon Beacons in Wales. And yeah, I don't know how to pronounce the place. Is it a lake? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a little lake with like mountains behind it. And yeah, and it's quite popular I think. Ready to check this place out? Yeah. <laughs> just pulled over. We're in the Brecon Beacons now. We're in the National Park. It's a lake. It's a, lake. It's a reservoir. It's a reservoir. Yeah, it's a reservoir. But I haven't seen like water in ages. Like a big. <laughs> wow, this is really nice. <laughs> Don't slip.
What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, good. It's cool, right? So, we haven't even got to our destination yet, but I knew there was like lakes or reservoirs along the way. And it's quite good because you can just pull over the side of the road and just stop. And we've got some pictures there, which are quite cool. I've never, I've, I haven't seen like a lake thing in so long. I get so excited. <laughs> that was fun. What are you doing? <laughs> Taking sweets. I'm wearing the worst shoes for this. Go on, on. Like the sensible ones. <laughs> and it's got wellies on. No vehicles beyond this point. Right, let's get walking then. So, yeah, I don't know how long this is going to be. I read up, I did a little bit of research, I didn't do that much, and I probably should have done more. But it said about 1.7 miles to this lake thing, um, and there's a stream of water here, so that gives us a good uh, like indication that we're going to head towards mountains. And I can see mountains um, up ahead, so I think we're on the right track. Got the big cam with me, shooting 20mm 1.4 on the A7R2. Put the dead cat on for better sound audio. But yeah, vlogging on the RX100 Mark IV today because I haven't got, I haven't really got a vlogging lens for the R2 yet. So I'm gonna vlog on the, on this, this Sony and shoot all the cinematic stuff and take the photos on this one. So I think that's a good efficient way to do that and not get a load of blurry video from this because it's only really good in manual focus. If I put it in auto focus, it makes that horrible sound with the adapter and normally Sigma's quite bad at autofocus, bearing in mind the sound. So on we go to our adventure, exploration. It's like some place to get in Lord of the Rings. It's a good job. <laughs> I'm stuck. Come on. Put the other leg over. Wait, I've come up. There we go. Okay. Brilliant. That's my camera. Alright, on we go then. <laughs> oh, I think we're nearly there. I almost wish I brought a bottle of water. I did bring um, one. Did you? Yeah. With you? Yeah. It's so crazy though. I think there's a waterfall over there as well. Whew. It's not that far now. Jesus Christ. So crazy. I can't stop filming the backdrop. Look at that. Look how far we've walked. Yeah. Oop. Wow, look at my hair. We're at the top of this huge 
mountain. We've walked for ages and ages and ages, probably about three miles now. An hour and a half. What are you eating? <laughs> Malams. Yeah, we walked for like an hour and a half. And we saw like a few people on the way. They said, um, there is a lake up here and it's on the left. So we kept on walking. Oh, the fog's clearing there. Because we can't see anything. This is our viewpoint at the moment. There's a big mountain here, but I think I know which what that one's called. And we wanted to go to the smaller lake, this, where the smaller mountains are, because I didn't think that was quite a, a long of a walk. But I guess if we're next to the big one, we've pretty much done it anyway. So yeah, there's a lake down here somewhere on the left. So we're going to take the left path, which is this one, and hopefully it's just over that ridge. Um, we'll wait for the fog to clear, and then we'll move again. But yeah, didn't know it was going to be this <laughs> this much of a walk. This is crazy, it's such a spontaneous um, trip to come here. This place looks so moody. Okay, we've got a theory that the lake is just over that ridge. It's not that far, it looks far on the camera, but from where I'm standing it looks close. So there's water trickling down to go all the way down the mountain. So we are definitely going in the right place. Jeez. Both of my socks are under my feet at the moment. Half on, half off. But I'm gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're reaching the summit. We're nearly at the summit of the Brecon Beacon. Brecon. Come on. Let's do it. Oh my god. There it is. Oh my god. You guys can see that? That's a lake, motherfucker. There's that dude. Come on. We found it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I knew there was a lake. Well, you know, halfway up, um, I remember seeing it from up the top there. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah. Nice. We're gonna just keep, keep walking and finally found it. Is um, it? If you're going all the way around it, yeah. if you get over to about there, uh -huh. go a bit higher. Okay. You got <laughs> you got soaked. You're gonna sink. Alright. <laughs> it's a hell of a walk though. Oh isn't it? Yeah. It's uh I kept coming it's like one of those walks so you can see the brow of the hill. Yeah. And you never get that. No, it just keeps going, doesn't it? That's it. Yeah. yeah. And then all of a sudden it opens up. Yeah, we got it! We found it. Thanks. <laughs> oh, isn't this nice? Awesome. It's like a little oasis. We made it. Thank God for that. Even look, we've got the whole lake to ourselves. No one else is here. This is crazy. This looks epic. You're like, oh, it doesn't look that big. The car park's just up there. <laughs> I know, the guy was saying you can see the brow of the hill, but it just keeps going. It, like, never ends. Alright, let's get some shots. It. We've been taking some photos, awesome shots, and it's so it's so quiet when the wind um, when it's not windy. It's just 
There's this like lake in this crevice of mountains. Really awesome place. Highly recommended. Long walk though. Yeah, really long walk. If you're cut out to walk about three miles, take about two hours to get here. Two hours in the car from like where we were and then like another an hour and a half walk, isn't it? And really, really steep up. It's like we've made a discovery. Like this was never here. Well, never been found and we just made the discovery. Like there were so many people walking behind us and then they just disappeared. It's like we've gone through like a special portal or something. It's like a different place. Wowzers, that is a view. You can see this big mountain now. That's incredible. And that's where we came from. That little lake in there. You're killing it. Getting those Insta bangers, hmm? They're not for Instagram. Oh, really? They're for my mum and dad. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> To swap lenses. I've been shooting on the 20mm uh, 1.4 by Sigma the whole time just because it's landscape but I want to get some more detail now. Such a good lens with the Sony A7R2. Just works so well and I know this is a cheap lens. I know people like on my transition video said oh buying a £3,000 camera and putting a £80 lens on. Well I'd rather buy the body first and then save up the money to buy good lenses, but at the moment this works really well. So I'm going to show you how good it is through this lens. Nice. See you later, see the lunch. If anyone wants to come here, find this sign and go straight, then left. Sim lunch. <laughs> Swim lunch. <laughs> I need to learn some Welsh. Still got all that way to go. All the way down there. Ooh. Feels like we're the only people on this mountain. Everyone else has disappeared. Just think about it, we were here, isn't it? We were sitting there and we were so tired and now we're back here and it feels amazing. Do you feel amazing? Yes or no? No. You don't? But isn't it easier walking back down than up? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. I need to sort my socks out as well. 
What are you eating? <gasps> He's seen us. I seen it. I think, I think they wee when you're excited when no they they wee when they're excited. Okay, well that one's excited to see you. Oh my god, he's green as well. Waterfall in the background. I want one like dead in the face. Like right portrait. That one's taking a shit. They took so many shits. Pretty. This is where I need the 85, 1.4, or 1.8, or whatever it is. Serious? We're the only car left in the in the little car park. Only car left. Wowzers! And this, I'm on two percent battery. I'll switch to the other one. Woo! Well, that was such a good one. Smashed. Smashed that. My phone just doesn't work anymore. Yeah, guys. Pretty awesome trek that was. Maxed out two batteries on this. I'm on 2%, well, battery's gone now on that one. So I've got a lot of content. I hope all the shots were really cool. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the GoPro footage that I put in today. Yeah, I haven't used GoPro in so long. So I thought that'd be cool to, to add a different perspective in. Uh, I think now I'm gonna jump in the car and go get some fresh water and some snacks. <laughs>